Hey guys, Johnny Asian here. What is up? This is an edifier subwoofer, and this is going to be my next build. Let's go. Hey, yep, guys, Jaffe here. Welcome back. First of all, um, I'm sorry for the weird. Uh, or odd uh, intro <laughs> uh, I was just playing around and used intro that uh, one of my dear friend used for his YouTube channel um, anyway uh, yes we are going for another PC upgrade video um, with component price uh, really going back to normal um, I think now it's a pretty good opportunity and timing uh, to upgrade my system uh, before that uh, let's talk about what's been happening uh, since the last upgrade video let's go Alright, first of all, um, I had bought the Cooler Master Q500L, a case that supports ATX motherboard in such a compact size. Since then, I was drawn to the idea of having a powerful build in a compact size, which excites me because of the challenges it brings with out-of-the-norm layouts such as power supply on the front and in cable management in general. I've also managed to snatch a used uh, GTX 1060 6GB right before the fall, or should I say the rise of GPU prices, uh, I was really lucky to have the sense to buy it at that time. Um, enough of that, let's walk you guys into what today's video is all about. For this build, I've always wanted to change into Team Red. I've been using Intel processor ever since my first build. So right now, I'm happily say that I can. And for your information, uh, almost all of the item here is second item. Some of them I use and some of them I knew. Uh, we'll get to that later. I've been eyeing the SSUPD meshlicious for quite a while now, but trying to find a used one in Malaysia is quite hard. So when I've got the chance, I've managed to get the full mesh version with PCIe Gen 3 riser. Uh, what I like about the meshlicious is that it is small enough to my liking, but also have a lot of options in terms of hardware compatibility, and plus it looks very clean. Then I've managed to get a deal for an iTech system minus the PSU and GPU. Uh, it comes with Ryzen 3 3200G processor, a gigabyte Aorus B450i motherboard, 8 gigabyte HyperX Fury RAM, and 480 gigabyte M.2 SSD housed inside of Fractal Design Node 202 case. Um, all I need is the motherboard and the M.2 SSD. The rest is I'm going to resell them to aid in budget for other component. Next is I was lucky to manage to grab a new sealed but second-hand Cooler Master V650 SFX power supply. Uh, the story here is that the last owner said that he sent his unit for RMA but then the company just gave him a new unit and he decided to just sell it and yeah, I've got it below the market price plus the 10-year warranty period. It was really all about timing and I was really lucky to have it. The reason I didn't take the RAM from the system that I've mentioned earlier is because the speed is only uh, 2666 MHz. So I opted for a 2 stick of 8GB HyperX Fury with uh, 3200 MHz. Uh, I want to go for uh, 3600 MHz, but the price difference is too much. So yeah, I think 3200 is going to be just fine. Uh, for the processor, uh, I've managed to get a really, really great deal uh, for a Ryzen 5 5600X, uh, brand new but secondhand. Uh, the owner told me that uh, when he purchased the processor, uh, it took quite a long time uh, to ship to him. Uh, he ended up buying uh, another processor first. Then uh, when this CPU arrived, he just straight up uh, sell them. Um, and again, great timing and uh, <laughs> with my bargaining skill, uh, I managed to get it uh, way below the new and used market price. Plus, uh, it's got a 3 years warranty from the company. Uh, luckily, since I have the spare 3200G, uh, I can easily update the motherboard uh, BIOS uh, prior to using the uh, processor. Uh, and also, I'm going to keep my 1060 around for a little while because I think it still holds up onto the game that I, I am that I am currently playing. And also, even though the GPU price are going down, they still cost a lot, and I need some time to get the money. Um, also, the RTX 4000 series is going to be released not quite far down the road, uh, so I think waiting for it is going to be my plan because uh, the 3000 series price will be surely dropped because of that uh, and let's just hope that what had, had 
what had happened two years ago uh, didn't happen again. Uh, this is the same case for uh, storage where uh, I plan to have a two terabyte uh, NVMe, but because I ca I can't wait for it. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm using the 480 gigabyte M.2 SSD for now. Lastly, I grab a new ID cooling Auraflow X240 AIO. It's not the top tier AIO out there, but its friendly budget price is good enough for me, and I have a good experience using ID cooling 120mm frost flow AIO for my current i5 system. I found no issue with it, and the temp never went above 70 degree. Forgot to mention, I purchased the PSU cable extension for fun. With that out of the way, let's get into the building process.
With the build completed, let's head into some games that I've played and see what we're dealing with. Starting off with Borderlands 3, as you can see my previous benchmark was on my last setup which received an average of 54.33 FPS. Now with this build, I've managed to get into an average of 70.61 FPS on the same medium settings. The loading time is also faster thanks to the using SSD instead of hard drive. On gameplay though, I feel no more spike or FPS dip because now instead of CPU bottleneck, it's GPUs and the game run much more smoother and on consistent FPS. Call of Duty is another demanding game and is a great example of what I think of CPU bottleneck. Before this, I have a hard time playing on a constant FPS, there is always a spike here and there, where the CPU couldn't keep up and GPU just waiting for the next instruction from the processor. Now gameplay is much more smoother and I can't wait to play Warzone more since I'm interested in Call of Duty franchise now, especially the Modern Warfare 2 that is going to be available somewhere this year. Last but not least, who could forget the fan favorite Mac Warrior Online? Oh. Mac Warrior Online has been known for its CPU bound game. Even though this is an old game, my i5 4460 couldn't keep up even though I upgraded my GPU into 1060. Even on medium settings, the i5 couldn't get a constant 60 FPS playing this game. Now though, it's as smooth as butter and I can crank the quality settings to the maximum and still be above 60 FPS. For the temperature, as you can see across these three games, the CPU and GPU temps never went above 80 degree and only above 70 in some cases for a while, maybe because of boosting, and after a while, they dropped down back to 65 to 70 degree range. Even after I changed the radiator fan curve to more silent approach, uh, the temperature did not affect it at all and only increase in probably 2 to 4 degree Celsius. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, migrating from a normal or standard build to an ITX build. Um, first of all, it's going to cost you a lot more. Uh, for example, I could get the same B450 motherboard for a lot lower price at a standard ATX or uh, micro ATX uh, size. Um, you know, things like the case, you know, the ITX case, uh, the power supply needed to be uh, SFX, uh, which costs even more. Uh, even though the mesh leases can technically uh, support uh, ATX power supply, but it will uh, disrupt a lot of cable management uh, and especially the AIO tube. Um, but I'm no complaining. Uh, I knew the risk and price uh, it takes to make this setup beautiful setup uh, to happen. Uh, I'm just throwing out uh, to you guys out there who are considering to go for an ITX build uh, the higher cost it takes to build such one. Um, and my experience building this setup is much more challenging than normal. Um, but in the end, I'm actually quite enjoying it and I like it. Yes, I like it a lot. Uh, the time it takes, uh, the preparation, uh, and making sure all of the uh, component will work and fit uh, inside the case. Uh, actually, uh, the uh, PSU uh, extension cable uh, part is I'm just yellowing and see uh, what works. And yeah, uh, in the end, uh, it all worked perfectly. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I'm sorry uh, this video is quite the duration. Uh, I'm just so excited because you know, PC building has always been my passion. Um, and I just want to share with you guys uh, the step and process of me building my new main rigs. Uh, and I hope I can do more of this stuff uh, in the near future or in the future. Uh, anyways, I see you guys in the next time. I'm Jack Fick. See ya. Stay safe guys. Bye bye.